Welcome to Farming Simulator 17. This is Jeeper Jimbo here. And we will try doing a video um, today. I'm not sure if I'll upload it to YouTube or not. If I do, and anyone does view it, leave a comment, any suggestions. Uh, we got time turned up right now, and wheat has just finished growing. I'm going to let the sun come out before we start harvesting. Uh, we'll maybe try it at 5 o'clock. Well, it's not bad. So let's go in here to the settings. Yeah. Name this game save is Dysfunctional Farming. I know some people like, you know, real legitimacy and role playing of farming, but I just enjoy the game. It's very relaxing. And hopefully anyone that, you know, hasn't played the game or is interested, you know, hopefully you'll, you'll enjoy it as much as I do. I got that straw swath coming out the back. We'll be able to gather this up in a little bit put it in our uh, storage uh, units here yeah I drove the truck up to the building so I could get up on the roof of that building to start the video uh, just coming over I've been getting over a cold the last week or so so my voices might be a little crackly um, I apologize <laughs> to anyone that uh, does watch this if it bothers them. <sighs> Let's see. Again, it's my first ever video on game playing, so... Just, uh, something I done. Beautiful trailer. Black Sheep Modding did an amazing job with these trailers. Absolutely great job. Okay. I'll uh, toggle some lights here. Alright, let me hop into that uh, harvester. We're at 54%. Getting a pretty decent yield. Yes, these fields were fertilized. When I replant them again, eh, maybe some soybeans or canola or something. light on the back. Turn this old girl around. So the harvest has got a worker hired. And they'll be turning around. And as they come down that other side there, they'll next row. They'll be stopping, putting their pipe out because they're full.
All right. Let's swing this old girl around here. We don't necessarily have to wait till he stops. We can drive alongside of him. That worker sees us. He's putting out his pipe. Oh, well, uh, let him offload the sweet. Now, for anyone that is wondering where all the money came from, up in the top right-hand corner of the screen, I do have the money mod up. It allows us to, you know, have a little bit better equipment. Eventually, I will uh, remove those once we uh, feel there's no need for it anymore. I don't know why I say we, it's just me. Although from time to time I will play with friends. I am on the PS4 after all. I'm not sure if I'll do any live streaming, but I may. I do have the game on the PC, so those of you that are wondering, I just don't have the recording software to really get into it. And then if you want to play with friends, it's, it's really a uh, long list of mods that everybody would have to download to be compatible with one another. And you can't make everybody happy, so... But, I don't know. I may do some PC mod reviews or something if I see something that I really like. And another friend wants to try it out. We may do that. But we'll see. Well, new new to gaming. I'm not really a seasoned veteran like a lot of guys are. But I think I hold my own and find them very enjoyable. Something to pass the time and help relax. It's amazing how fast time goes by when you're playing some of these games though. Let's hop in him and see how he's doing. And while he's working, I'm going to hop to, that's the fertilizer, a uh, sower. Got a nice vent, 828. And over here, we got a Vulture. Not sure the model of this Vulture. He pulls this big cedar. I believe it's called the Great Plain Cedar. Memory serves me correctly. I believe we can read it right there. I am right. And then we have a cultivator over here. With a New Holland. That's a T8. And I got a plow and a roller that helps create fields on a Massey Ferguson 8737. And a Yimpa plow. That's about all we have for equipment right here at the main farm. Over here, I believe we are 
at our sheep farm. I got some grass already, some various buckets and whatnot. I haven't got any sheep yet. That's up and coming. Now over here we are at the pig farm. I have a trail load of pig food. I have a, a mod here that fills the trailer with pig food. There's a water trailer, a nice Joskin water trailer. And by the way, these are the smaller Voltras, one of each. And we got a Massey Ferguson down here at the cows. And another Massey. Now, we're going to drop this fertilizer sprayer off the back. And I want to take it right over here. Yeah, we got some grass that we can cut, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. So let's uh, take it right over here. We're going to connect our mowers onto the front here. I believe these are partingers. Those of you that were wondering. Hope I'm pronouncing these names correctly. Now see, I connect them so they don't fall. This, this one that's folded up doesn't fall over real easily. Come on. I just seen it. Oh. And we'll unfold that. I want to spin this guy around. Hopefully be able to hire a worker. Oh, we don't want to hire a worker for some reason. Let's pull forward a little bit more and try it. There we go. The mowers are turning on. Let's get out of their way. I don't know why this guy in the middle is not on. Hmm. Let me go catch up to him. I'll try that again. Oh, uh, maybe because I'm too far over on the on the field. But as I planted this field in grass, this wasn't already in grass. So let's set this up right here. And let's see if the front mower turns on now. Whoops. Hit the wrong button. Circle, not square. Circle must just jump out. Now that front mow is still not turning on for some reason. Now well, let's uh, see what it does after it makes this row. See if it turns around and turns on. Maybe the worker realizes that the grass is already cut below it, so there's no reason to turn it back on. Let's see. All right, he lifts them up. Is he going to turn that front mower on? Yes, he is. There we go. There's the front mower. And the rear mowers. Excellent. Good job, my friend. All right. Now let's switch over back over. Oh, see, our harvester buddy is all full. Okay. Now, we do have crop destruction. I do have it turned off. Um, mainly because if I drive into crops in real life, obviously they would be destroyed. Somewhat, anyway. I think it's a little drastic how much they're destroyed. I mean, I understand if you drive into corn stalks, you're knocking them over, snapping them over, damaging your trucks. 
but you know wheat a wheat field like this I don't believe we would have the destruction that it shows in uh, with that crop destruction mod uh, but for the most part I'll try staying out of our crops and uh, play it a little on the realistic side in that regards I'm sure at times I will venture off of that and just drive through them like take your shortcuts and whatnot just to try to make the game uh, a little bit more enjoyable for you to watch and for me to play alright he's turning around I'm gonna get some straw and I'm gonna put it in that shed right there so I can use this bucket to give our uh, friends once we buy some pigs. I think I'm gonna take this tractor and drive it on over here. Whoa! I don't wanna get in his way. And what we're gonna do here is. We're going to hook up to our our grass tether. It's also a parting there. As you can see the name down there at the bottom of the screen. That's their website. And it unfolds very nicely and looks like our friend here is pretty much done one more pass here myself. I'm driving it. I have to do this with the uh, gonna fold it up because we we're driving over here but I figured we'd drive over here to this field and stop mowing this one. If you see right there you'll see a line that's where the field was planted as grass. That's what the what the computer understands to hire a worker. Just like that. And see it'll run right along that edge. But it, I'm hiring the workers because it uh, gives them something to do while we're doing other things. And it looks like our harvest is just about done on this field. So we'll pull one next to it. Let him empty it out into this truck. I think that tree is in the way for the worker. I don't think it's going to go all the way to the edge of the field, yeah. But I will hop in it and drive forward and finish it ourselves. I'll back up a little bit, try to keep the straw together. There we go. Shut the harvester off. And we are empty. And we shall just move over to the next field. I wonder if this harvester and header will fit. Yes, it will. Alrighty. I 
Now if I do post this to YouTube, I'm not sure how long the video will be. If you guys could uh, leave me a comment about, you know, what you'd like to see as far as uh, recording time. Well, I mean, would you like to see a 15-minute video, or would you like to see an hour-long video of gameplay, or, you know, things like that. I'd love to know. Oh, looks like our friends are already done. That's what's nice about having larger equipment. See how rapid this field was tethered? There are smaller game tetherers that hope I'm pronouncing that right. A little tongue tied. Um, tetherers, I think is maybe the proper term. Let's see, I put up some barns here. Store this, uh, this hay. Flip the grass over. I think we've got that covered. Alrighty. We'll head up this way. Apologize for that. I turned my mic off so I wouldn't be coughing in on camera. Now I believe this tether works a lot faster than the uh, gentleman over there or young lady. I'm not sure what it is. Let's go see. That's a young lady. She's doing a nice, 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 neat rose. And I'm out of your way. There we go. And we'll hop back into uh, our harvester. Let's see how it's doing. Extremely well. See, I don't own more than one harvester because the amount of fields that I owe own at the moment. And those of you that are new to the game, yes, you have to go around and buy your fields. That was the reason for the money cheap mod boxes that I have installed. Those of you that uh, don't know what those are, I'll go into placeables here and show you some of the different things that the game has to offer. These are all purchable, purchasable. See, a money cheap box. And if I go to garage, and I scroll across all the equipment that I have. This is everything that I've purchased in the game because of those money cheap boxes. But if we go to here and we hit X, which is sell, yeah, it'll show you where I have them located. Way out here in the corner of the map. And if I open up the map here, you see I'm way up at the top corner. There's a, you can see it now, the top corner of the screen on that map that I opened up. There's a flashing green dot. That's where we're at right now. Okay. Enough of that. We will go back. Check on that harvester. Yeah, he's pretty full. 
we need to get in our truck. We're about half full, a little bit better. Looks like 56%. Holds 70,000 liters, so everything in the game is in liters. That's how they figure it. Look at that. What timing, huh? Couldn't have done a better job if I had planned it. Now I think so that straw doesn't wind up all in the grass over there. I'm going to unhire this worker at the end of this strip and have him uh, move over. I'll move that harvester over finish that field up. Well, it says there that we have a helper that completed its task. I caught it out of the corner of my eye. that nice young lady went home for the day because she was done cutting grass over there. And part of the truck. And we'll come down here. And we will wait very patiently for this great worker. See, that's something that I would really love to see is that the workers would re-adjust the harvesters to the edge of the field like I just did, rather than it come out way, way over here. But for the most part, I mean, the game isn't really designed for hiring workers. It's a simulation game. person to uh, what is that? inside cockpit view in the back you'll see all of our wheat dumped in through that back window See that straw going right in there on the conveyor belt, right into the chopper. Come out with straw. Alrighty. Turn that off. I'll head back out to normal view. We'll open our chute up. The pipe is out. And we'll head off to another field. Part of me is wondering if it'll all fit in this trail. This trail looks pretty full. I didn't think it was that full, though. Oh, yeah, we got rid of it all. All right. Now, I'm 
thinking we'll head up this way. Now I'm thinking, oh, we'll give it a try. I should probably be taking the header off the front. We'll try maneuvering it just to save us that step. Yep, it'll fit. A little bit of careful driving. Although you really can't damage it, so I mean, I guess I could just bounce it off the rocks if I want to do. Alright, we have these two little fields, so that one's a pretty good sized field. Well, this one's tiny, let's start here. Get the little one out of the way. But what I would like to do is get back over to the higher that. Worker on that tractor here. And then we'll hop in this one. Now just up here is another field that I have planted in grass. Just up there. This corner. I'm just worried about bumping into those trees. Maybe I should try going this way. I know when I tried it the long way, it seemed to. The worker seemed to bump into this wall. Right here. I'm worried about those trees there, but. We'll see how they. The worker deals with them. Looks like I could have gone over a little bit more, but that's okay. Vegas won't be choosy. Outstanding. Well, there we go. Alright, well. I'm thinking... I'm going to save, stop this video for right now, and uh, I'll get some of this, uh, these fields uh, harvested. Let's uh, hop in that truck before I do stop. We'll go unload it show everyone where that is. These are our little storage boxes here. These blue buildings are for uh, sugar beets and potatoes. And we shall unload here at the storage grain shelter. Again, Black Sheep Modding, that was... He did a nice job with his trailer. The larger, uh, The larger amounts of product was, uh, a definite need. I'm going to pull up here. I'll come over here. We've got some eggs we can pick up. There's one here. 
Another one here. Alright. I'll just run along here. Pick these eggs up that are all over the ground. In case anyone was wondering why there's so many of them, I haven't picked up eggs in... Actually, I'm not sure if I picked up eggs on this map. I believe I have at least once. How did I get an egg up on top of the post? That was good. Now you get me checking all the posts. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We actually just found another one. Alright. We're going to stop the video right here. Um, I might do a little bit more, but I'm probably going to go into a game save. But uh, thank you for watching uh, Farming Simulator 17. I'm Jeepa Jimbo, and uh, hopefully uh, we can do many more of these. Give me a like, uh, leave a comment, Again, feel free. And uh, I will uh, see everyone soon. Thank you.